So I have a few little text elements just here and a rectangle, which is acting as a placeholder for images. I would like to turn all of these elements into a repeating grid. Now this is the bad way that I'm about to show you how to do this inside of XD. So having selected all of those, we press Command or Control G to group them, then hold down the Alt or the Option key and we drag out a copy. We drag out another copy and we pay close attention to the spacing. And then we select all of those and we drag out rows. And then of course, just as the deadline's about to approach, we know the boss is going to come along with a bunch of very tedious changes. So this is the bad way to do it. There's a better way to do it. Let me show you just now. So let's go to File, Revert to Saved, Revert. Okay, so back to the same elements we had before. I'm going to select them. Now notice, I don't even have to group them. I've just selected them. And then I'm going to come up to this button just up here, Repeat Grid. As soon as I press that, we get a green dash line around the outside and these little handles just here. Now, if you click and drag a handle, you can very easily drag out as many of those elements as you like along that row just there. And then from the bottom handle, we can drag out as many rows as we would like. Fantastic. So this is obviously an extremely quick way to generate a grid there, guys. We can step it up a notch just now. Notice these pink lines inside of here. This is representing the spacing between the elements. If I click and drag, I can change that spacing like so, and also between the rows, like so. Okay, so now that we've laid out our grid, we can easily save and reopen this file at any later stage and just grab those handles and resize that to taste. Now, if we wish to start putting content in here to make it look not so bland, we can easily click to get inside of here. So this is Bob and he likes to paint. You get the idea guys, this takes take a long time to populate by hand, which you can certainly do if you want to. But if you're doing this a lot, um, you can actually prepare uh, text files and image files, which you can easily drag and drop into this repeating grid, which I'm about to show you this now. So over here on my desktop, I have a bunch of files. The text files just down here, you can see city, bunch of cities, bunch of countries, first name, uh, first and last name, last names, professions. You get the idea. You can put in lists of whatever you like inside of here. And then just up here, I also have a folder called headshots and no big surprises there. It's just a bunch of photos of people. Okay, so how can we get this stuff inside of our grid? Well, let's for example, go and grab artists name first. Okay, and I'm going to just drag and drop that onto Bob just up there, and you can see that all of those names through here have actually populated with the content of that text file. So let's go and then, for example, choose name full, and I'll drag that on. And like, okay, now we've got a problem, right? But it's a very easy thing to fix. You can see the problem I'm referring to is, of course, that horizontal spacing. So if I just come in here and drag that spacing out, fantastic, everything's fixed, looking great. So let's see, we now need to go and grab the profession just there. We can drag that in there. Let's grab the cities and then the country like so. Fantastic. So we've managed to populate all of our text. It's looking great. Let's go and do these photos just now. Okay, so if I go and grab the headshots folder and I drag that onto this placeholder graphic just here and nothing happens. So you can't grab a folder, okay guys? You've got to go and actually grab the individual pictures. So if I just go and grab this picture just now and drag it on, that will just repeat that same picture through the entire grid, okay? But if, for example, we go and grab three photos, drop them on, you can see the photos are repeated, but you'll notice that they don't actually necessarily marry up to the text. So remember I had 10 elements within those individual text files? So that's why I want to make sure I go and select my 10 pictures just here, drag them in, and now everything should marry up nicely. Let's prove this because if I go and drag out my grid a little further, so we start to see some repeats just here. There you go. Actually, I'll just uh, make this a little bit larger so we can get a better view just here. Sure enough, there's Alexandria Hicks just down here and there's her photo just there. And that marries up with this example in the upper left corner just there. So that's almost it there, guys. There's just one last thing I'd like to show you. And that is what happens if uh, you're very happy with your design and for some reason now you might want to actually start to tear this thing apart. Well, with it selected, you can just go up to the option Ungroup Grid. And if you click on that, 
you now have all those elements as individual groups. And if you need to further uh, move those around, you can of course just go to object ungroup and then you're free to move those individual elements around there like so. So that's the repeat grid feature inside of Adobe XD there guys. Hope it helps. Catch you later.